Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum. What's good internet? My name is Attack Slug. Welcome to a Let's Mess With The Sea of Thieves closed beta on the Xbox One X. I'm wearing a headset because this is that kind of game. And I'm going to head into single player, which is obviously much harder and much less collaborative. But I could encounter other players in my deal and I am currently muted because I don't want to I don't want to bother anybody off the gate uh but I'll turn it on when I'm in the game when I see other players etc etc so let's set sail if you are not familiar with Sea of Thieves it is an open world shared world uh multiplayer game from Rare uh on the Xbox One and the PC I am playing on an Xbox One X although this game this this beta uh as far as as far as I can tell is not X enhanced. Uh, it is first person, and you are in a world with other players who are in other pirate ships, and obviously your goal here, at least in this beta, is to get treasure and then bring it back, etc. etc. So, first things first, uh, this thing does not tell you a lot of what you need to know. Uh, so you kind of got to go onto their forums uh, at this point to go, alright, how do you start doing things? And obviously, play playing with other players would certainly uh, be a big part of that, so they could tell you, you know, alright, what's going on? Shopkeeper's like, hey, here's some stuff. Buy it for some gold. I have 108 gold right now uh, from doing some uh, very, very early stuff last night, which is obviously not not a lot of gold, but uh, I want to actually go get another mission here uh, from the mission dude, or one of the mission dudes, and I gotta go, he's right here. He's right here. Hey, gold hoarder shopkeeper. Talk to him. And he has missions. And some of those missions cost gold. So, obviously, you get new maps. Uh, so, this is a half day long, which is kind of the original one that I did yesterday. And we're going to go here into the stash of Dirty Grandy Preston. So, day long mission. We're going to buy it. Yes, we're going to buy it. Count my coins. Coins spent. Thank you much. Uh, now, once you have a mission... i got to go find where I parked my freaking ship. Uh, I'm kind of not sure. There it is. My green ship. My good old green ship is actually back at the dock. Uh, I didn't park it very well, very well the first time. Uh, and actually, before that, do I have... Do I still have... Nope. Okay. So, before you leave the island, it's very important. Uh, you want planks, and you want cannonballs. Uh, and usually... Oh, also bananas. For eating. There's some cannonballs. Got those. Those are very important. Uh, there's some planks. Those are very important. I mean, you'll find them on the island and whatnot, but if you're going to leave onto a voyage and you don't have ways to um, repair your ship and to fire on other ships, that's kind of a big deal. Right. So, all right. We've got uh, a number of planks, uh, a number of cannonballs, and we're good for right now. So off to my green ship. Uh, I have a map for treasure. Let us set upon a voyage here and see how it goes. So how do you do that? Alright, you head over here, get onto my ship. Uh, I want to put some cannonballs in the cannons. This is all very much like... The way this is set up in multiplayer is just players taking on a variety of roles. And if you're playing with other folks who are actually talking, and who are playing the game right, uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, but for, for, the, for the purposes of this video, we're just going to do it solo here in this ship. So, propose a voyage. The stash of Dirty Grandy Preston. And then vote for the... Like, I'm voting, but I'm the only one here. So, uh, that's weird. But now, we have a map. And as soon as this actually uh, finishes vign vignetting here, I can pull up this map. Maps discovered. The filthy hands are empty of coin, then on a voyage to Marauder's Arch, join. So, sometimes you get an actual map, sometimes you get a riddle. So, Marauder's Arch is what we're looking for here on this map. Uh, let's kind of zoom out a little bit. And see if we can't find it. Marauder's Arch. Right here. And I am currently way over here. So, I need to take myself and head to the north. And to the east. So head northeast towards Marauder's Arch. Okay, so being that I'm playing solo, I gotta do all this ship stuff myself. I gotta bring down the sails, I gotta raise the anchor, and I gotta steer 
all by myself. So, head over here, raise the anchor. So yeah, playing it with like a full crew of four players who actually want to play it properly, it's a lot of fun. Um, but for the, for the purposes of this video, playing with a, a bunch of randos is a bad idea. So, we're, we're not doing that. We're not doing that at all. Um, let's see if we can't get our ship head northeast. Northeast. So, some of the best looking water in a video game that I've seen in quite some time. It's real, real nice. Um, and so yeah, since we're in a shared world, it is quite possible we're going to end up uh, running into other pirate crews uh, in this video. Maybe. It's not guaranteed. Maybe. But they did kind of, you know, put out a much wider scope for this particular uh, closed beta. It was previously in a closed alpha, and I had played a little bit of that, but I, that, that's still under NDA, so kind of can't mention that stuff. But uh, this, 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 this closed beta is finally, there's no more NDA, so uh, I can sit here and do a video on this thing. If I sit here and say, hey, Sea of Thieves is really good, you guys, and I'm looking forward to what the full game's going to bring in uh, March. And if you haven't heard the news, uh, first party games from Microsoft are going to be day one on their Game Pass service. So perhaps you don't want to, you know, get a Gamefly account. Perhaps you don't want to, you know, pay 60 bucks. Then get Game Pass for a month for 10 bucks and play Sea of Thieves day one. Uh, I currently have a free month that I got from buying this console, this Xbox One X. So I will definitely be there uh, for Sea of Thieves. When that hits, uh, I think it's March 20th, I believe, so. Anyway, I'm sailing away. Now, see, here's the thing. When you're playing with a crew, you can have somebody staring at the map, and you have somebody in the crow's nest to kind of get you a good bearing. Uh, when you're playing solo, it's pretty much, all right, I'm going to hop out here and then say, hey, am I on the right path on this map? Sure am. I sure am. But then, of course, no one's steering the freaking ship and uh, ending up uh, hitting rocks and whatnot and damage your ship. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a bad look. It's a, it's a bad look. So you don't want to be doing that. Um, but I feel like that's going to be the island. And we'll see if there are other pirates there on the island. Certainly some skeletons and whatnot to fight, I'm sure. When you get close enough, it will tell you what island you are next to. Uh, so there is some stuff here with the wind. I'm kind of... I'm kind of probably even wrong, but... Whatever. What do we got here? Sunken Grove. No, that's not where I want to be. That is not where I want to be in the Sunken Grove. So... Uh, the question is how much farther am I from where I need to be? Which is... Alright. I gotta keep going in that direction and then I'll be good. Oh, get there, get there, get there! I think that right there might be Marauder's Arch. There's definitely an arch. So let's head in that direction. I can't tell if those are mountains or other pirate ships. So I suppose we'll find out here pretty quickly. So here we are. Marauder's Arch. Uh, got some guard towers. That's probably, that's, that's, that's probably bad. And I guess we're kind of just head in and see if we can't park this thing and solve this riddle here as it gets later and later and later in the day. Um, but as long as these towers aren't shooting at me, uh, I'm kind of okay. Also, they might shoot at me, so I've, I've seen that before. Um, on, 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 on certain islands, they have defenses and whatnot. So I gotta go around back here, I guess, away from that business. And then definitely don't want to hit the, the island here. Don't want to hit it, but want to get cl close enough. Close enough. And then... Drop the anchor. Drop the anchor. And the whole thing just goes... Like that. It's not a great thing. I mean, there, there are more elegant ways to do it, but, you know. Video games and whatnot. Uh, make sure there's no ship damage from that, because sometimes there is. Uh, nope. If your ship gets damaged, A, use the planks to repair it, and B, use the buckets to get the water out of your sinking ship. So, okay. Now, what did this thing say? 
What was the actual riddle here? Alright, let me get onto this island. Hopefully not get e eaten by sharks. And uh, see what the deal is here on Marauder's Arch. If you wheel. I have arrived. I have a sword. I have uh, two guns. And I'm hopefully not going to end up uh, getting shot here. Or dying, or whatever. Okay, Marauder's Arch. I need me some treasure. What you got? What's up here? What is up here? What does this do? Nothing. Okay, Marauder's Arch. Um, what do we got? At the foot of the withered tree rock, the treasure close at hand, six paces east, dig up the land. The withered tree rock. Is that on the map? Is that that thing right there? Um, the foot of the withered tree rock. Hmm. Hmm. Like, is it this thing? It's withered. But is it a tree rock? Or is there a different... Hmm. Let's poke around a little bit here. And see if we can't find... It's, it's hard to see now because it's real dark out. And I have really bright lights in here. So that makes uh, making out dark things on my TV screen very difficult. Um, I don't think I have... Actually, I'm, I'm sorry. I totally have a lantern. Which helps. But doesn't help that much. Uh, but the withered tree rock is what we're looking for. And would it be that? Would it be that? Oh. Pile of bones. Pile of bones. The withered tree rock. This has to be... This has to be it. Right? And it said... At the foot of... Six paces east. So in that case... I'm gonna back up to it. Alright. I'm at the foot of the tree rock. And then I'm going to... Get my compass out. Oh! Skeleton bros! What's up? Oh! Oh! What's hitting me? What's hitting me? That's not cool, bro. That's not cool! That is not cool! I can barely see in this room with the lights in this TV reflection. It's super not cool. Okay, at the foot of the tree... Ah... Uh, at the foot of the tree... What am I... I'm losing it. Six paces east. So that's kind of straight ahead. So... One, two, three, four, five... Like, here? I don't know. What kind of... Nope. Not there. Ha-ha! Ha-ha! What's that? We found some treasure. We solved a riddle. We did the freaking thing here in Sea of Thieves. And that's kind of how it goes. Um, right now, anyway. I'm not sure how much different uh, or how much more involved the full game will be. Uh, but that's kind of, hey, you get a map, you go to an island, and you find some chests. And then you go back to the where you started, or back to any of the other port cities that have a vendor, and you sell them the chest. You get the gold, you can buy new items, you can buy new outfits. Um, and generally, it's about the adventure more than anything else. So obviously playing solo, the adventure is a little bit dull, tedious, if you will. Um, not as interesting as playing with a bunch of your friends. Uh, on the microphone, etc. etc. So, the question remains now, where did I park? Where did I, where did I leave the freaking boat? It's probably over here on the other side of the island, so. Let's find that thing. There is my boat! There is my boat. So basically, I want to search for the nearest outpost now, and go take back this chest, and sell the stupid thing. Um, so far, no other players have appeared. In like the past like 20 minutes, so they might not, they might, I don't know. I've had pretty spotty luck with other players when I'm playing the game solo. Um, whereas obviously if you match make with players in a in a group, it that it is more you, you know you get more interaction uh, that way. So up this ladder, got this chest, put it down in the hold right here. My chest. And then figure out where am I going to go? Where is, uh... Where's an outpost here? I came from... 
Dagger Tooth Outpost. Yeah, over there is Sanctuary and whatnot. So basically, I I, I gotta head back uh, south, southeast, or no, southwest. So southwest it is. Um, so yeah, you got a sword here. You've got handgun. You've got your sniper rifle with a cracked scope. Um, and those only have like you only have five shots, and then when you use them, gotta come back in here to the ship and then refill uh, over here. Get the ammo. So basically, if you were to fire your gun here like this and go boom, then uh, you down a shot. Get back here, hit the X, and fill it up. And then obviously, your cannon business is you know firing the cannons, and then they explode. At, that's a good time, but you gotta reload the cannonball every single time. Because, you know, accuracy, re realism, and whatnot. And then, you know, raise the sails and head back. And maybe we'll find some adventure on the high seas on the way back. And maybe, maybe not. Or we're going to hit this freaking island and just, you know... No, don't hit the island, you idiot. No! I just ran the freaking ship aground. I'm an idiot. Okay, get the ship back out to sea. And then I gotta go fix it. Please tell me I'm not going to be stuck here. Okay. That was real bad. And I'm sure there's going to be some damage from that. Yup. Some damage from that. So first things first, get it patched up. Wo I have wood. I have here, right here. Repair the hull. Okay. Then you get the bucket. Scoop the water. Make sure you throw it overboard. Kind of important. And then you should be good. So, obviously right now, nobody's steering the freaking ship. So, that's uh, a problem. So, obviously playing solo is a little bit more difficult than playing with other players. Anyway. Oh, 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 oh. Rough seats, rough seats. We're heading uh, southwest. And dawn is breaking here. And Sea of Thieves. This game looks really good. Even on what is apparently not X-enhanced, it still looks really good. Right, let's make sure that I'm not sinking. Because, uh... Oh no, I'm... I didn't finish all the repairs. I'm totally sinking here. That's a problem. That's definitely a problem. Okay. Now maybe... I will stop taking on water. Out the window. Out the... Yeah, alright. It was just, just, just the one, just the one. Okay, we fixed the ship. It's very important. Uh, I think we're sailing right into a storm. We're sailing right into a storm. Fantastic, fantastic. And through the eye of the storm, making our return here to Dagger Tooth Outpost. Gonna raise the sails. Gonna bring it in nice and easy. Hopefully, maybe. Maybe I won't crash it. Maybe I will. You never know. Um, and then here we go. No, I, I should keep on going away. It's supposed to be going here. It's the left, left, left. And then kind of drop my anchor. We're going to get a little bit closer here to the dock. And I should be good to go cash in this chest that I got from... Oh no, oh no. Drop the anchor! Don't crash! Oh man. That was about as good as you can get as a solo player there. So, get my chest. And head inside to find my dude. Uh, and sell this nonsense. That's the plan. So unfortunately, we didn't see any other players here in this, like, 40 minutes or so. Uh, that I've been sitting here playing this game. So, again... It's designed, like, ideally you're playing it with your friends in multiplayer, um, because that's way, way more fun. Um, but it's not bad in single player, it's just kind of a little bit tedious. Uh, so there you go. Hey, buddy, have a chest. Seafarer's chest sold. And now I have 180 gold. I can buy more maps, I can buy things from the other shopkeepers, I'm increasing my reputation here. Uh, and, you know, it's cool. So, there you go. Sea of Thieves, uh, coming out in March, and I'll, I'll hopefully have more more videos on that in March uh, from this game. Thanks for watching. I'm going to tax more videos every day. See you next time, right here on this channel. And I'm out!